Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Budapest. Welcome to the FINA World Aquatics Gala. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. Welcome. Good evening from us, Zuzana Demchak. I will be your host, as well, your moderator for tonight, and the host is Bente Muhai. So good evening once again. It is a great honor to be here tonight, and we are very proud to be the host for the award ceremony, Soiree des Etoiles, the FINA World Aquatics Gala. First of all, let's greet some very special guests tonight. Please welcome His Excellency, the FINA President, Dr. Julio C. Maglione. Please welcome His Excellency, ANOC President, Sheikh Ahmad Al Fahad Al Sabah. Please welcome the Mayor of Budapest, the main patron of the 2017 FINA World Championships, Mr. Istvan Tarlos. Please welcome His Excellency, IOC member and honorary life president of the Hungarian Olympic Committee, Paul Schmidt. And please welcome the State Secretary of Sport, Olympic silver medalist swimmer, Tunde Sobo. And a very warm welcome to all FINA officials, the Bureau members, Technical Committee Chairman and members, representatives of the National Federations, all invited guests, and, of course, our wonderful athletes who are with us this evening. They also deserve an applause. Thank you. So even if it's uh, winter outside, uh, we will warm you up here, I promise that. You should get used to the feeling Budapest is hosting a FINA event. event. This is the first one and a lot more to follow. First of all, as you all know, Budapest and Hungary will be the hosts for the upcoming FINA World Championships in 2017. And I can assure you that the whole country has put together all its efforts to organize an outstanding event. We are also very grateful to the FINA leadership, especially to the President Julio Maglione and Executive Director Cornel Marculescu for their continuous dedication towards Hungary, Budapest and the Hungarian Swimming Association. Thank you very much. The most spectacular demonstration of our great efforts is the construction of the new swimming complex. Most of you could have a look at the construction site. It is amazing how fast the new complex grows, thanks to the team of Bolas Furias, our government commissioner, who oversees this project, and, of course, the people working there day and night. Well, they were not fast enough to have the roof in place. That's why we couldn't organize this event there. But hope you like this building also, because this is very nice. So before we, before we would start the gala and uh, before, before we would show you all the plenty of things and all the magical things that we have prepared for you tonight, I would like to please all raise for the, national, for the anthem of the FINA.
we're all very proud that the leaders of the members of the FINA have joined us tonight. I hope everyone took uh, the right direction coming from the hotel and didn't choose something else because Budapest has a lot to offer, a lot of sides. However, today is Sunday, so only the cathedral is open and though there are many things to see, but uh, here you will see most of the stars, most of the swimming stars and the aquatic stars. And there in the cathedral, you couldn't hear the Finna president speaking. So here, at this stage, I would like to ask Dr. Julio Malione, president of Fina, to join us on the stage and make his welcome speech. Good evening, Mr. President. Please. Good evening. How are you doing? Buenas tardes. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, on Fina behalf, let me welcome of you at all in this supper Fina Aquatic Gala, Soiree de Cetual, organized in the beautiful city of Budapest, the capital of Hungary. After the success of the first edition in 2014 in Doha, Qatar, I am very happy and honored to be here tonight and pay a fair tribute to our aquatic stars. As you know, this year we have introduced an objective criteria to select the best of the year the overall ranking and the major FINA event are largely determining the choice of those who will receive their, their prize tonight. They deserve our deeper recognition and appreciation for what they are doing to raise and consolidate the FINA image and the value of our sports. But behind each of them, we will also pay tribute to their coaches. Their role is essential, and their devotion to the athletes and to the sport that they love are a significant part of the success of the athlete. Moreover, we will also award a representative of the media, a journalist who has been present in the mayor's event, thus actively promoting FINA activities. In 18 months, Time to Mayar Capital will welcome our entire family for the biggest celebration of our sport, the 17 FINA World Championships. Budapest will be a great host, don't doubt, a great host of our showcase event, the involvement of the national authority, the professionalism of the Argonazi Committee, the enthusiasm of the people of Hungary, and the construction of a brand new aquatic center are guaranteed of a memorable competition in 2017. But no, it's the time to pay tribute and sincere at all, with all sincere at all the stars. Thank you all for making aquatic popular and fina great. Thank you very much. Because at this point, I would like to ask uh, the mayor of Budapest, Mr. Ishvan Tarlos, to please join us because FINA would like to offer its recognition towards Budapest and Hungary for um, organizing the 2017 World Championships. Mr. Mayor.
Thank you very much. És a főpolgármester urat pedig megkérem arra, hogy ő is mondja el köszöntő beszédet. Now I would like to ask you, please, Mr. Mayor, to say your welcoming speech. Jó estét kívánok, tisztelt Hölgyeim és Uraim! Budapest főpolgármestereként tisztelettel köszöntöm Önöket a magyar fővárosban. Engedjék meg, hogy külön is köszöntsem Schmidt Pál urat, a Magyar Köztársaság volt elnökét, Magyarország képviselőjét a Nemzetközi Olimpiai Bizottságban. Dr. Julio Mayone urat, a FINA elnökét, Sheikh Ahmad Al-Fahad Al-Sabah urat, a Nemzeti Olimpiai Bizottságok Szövetségének elnökét, Gyárfás Tamás urat, a FINA alelnökét, a Magyar Úszó Szövetség elnökét, Kornél Márkulescu általános igazgató urat, dr. Szabó Tunde államtitkár asszonyt, Borkai Zsolt urat, a Magyar Olimpiai Bizottság elnökét, és dr. Fűrjes Balázs kormánybiztos urat. Kevesebb, mint másfél év múlva, 2017. július 14-e és 30-a között Budapest ad otthont a vízisportok legnagyobb nemzetközi megmérettetésének. Ez lesz a legnagyobb sportesemény, amelyet Magyarország valaha rendezett, sőt, a látogatók száma alapján kiderülhet, hogy a legnagyobb esemény, amelyet valaha is rendezett Magyarország. Nagy lehetőség, hogy ennek a rangos eseménynek Budapest helyszíne lesz, gazdagodik a főváros, fejlődik Angyalföldváros rész, és profitálnak belőle vizes sportágaink, amelyek eredményeiket tekintve ma már a világelitbe tartoznak. Remélem, hogy több világrekordnak és minél több magyar győzelemnek örülhetünk majd a jövő nyári világbajnokságon. Kérem, szurkoljunk együtt a magyaroknak, akikre mind büszkék lehetünk, a női és a férfi vízilabdásoknak is, akik épp a múlt héten szereztek arany, illetve bronzérmet a belgrádi vízilabda Európa bajnokságon, és kiváló úszóinknak, akik folyamatosan nyerik a nemzetközi versenyeket. Hosszú Katinkának, Gyurta Dánielnek, Jakabu Zsuzsannának, Cselászlónak, Krisztovévának, Kapás Boglárkának, Bernek Péternek, és még jó néhány tehetségnek. Szeretnék megemlékezni a hosszú névsor említése nélkül azokról a világhírű magyar sportolókról, akik a vizes sportákban Magyarországnak már annyi dicsőséget szereztek, néhányan ma is itt vannak köszöttünk közülük szerencsére. Budapest készen áll, hogy házigazdája legyen a vizes világbajnokságnak, és biztosan nem fog csalódást okozni a fina nagy családjának. Kérem, érezzék magukat otthon nálunk. Ismerjék meg városunkat, Budapestet, az ország szívét, a történelmi várost, ahova Magyarországra látogatók kétharmada igyekszik. Budapest várja önöket. Az utóbbi években komoly fejlődést tanúsító, újabb tervek sorát felmutató magyar főváros baráti otthont kínál minden ideérkező sportolónak, vezetőnek, újságírónak, kísérőnek és turistának egyaránt. Kívánok a mai estéhez is jó szórakozást, élvezzék a magyar gasztronómia kínálatát, és térjenek vissza minél többször, akár magánemberekként is. Meglátják, Budapest mindig legszebb, legbarátságosabb arcát fordítja önök felé. Köszönöm a figyelmüket! Köszönjük szépen, polgármester úr! Köszönjük you. szépen! Köszönjük szépen! Köszönjük szépen. So we have already started to promote Budapest and the 2017 FINA World Championships. Though it's a real challenge to show all sides of our magnificent city, the promotion clip we've prepared will hopefully engage more and more people all over the world. If many of you find, will find it familiar, it's not by accident. It was last summer when in Kazan we have introduced this short film about how we are preparing for the 2017 World Championships. But I tell you, it is worth watching again and again. Most of you surely recognize the protagonists of the film. But at this point, we offer a big thank you for our great athletes, the ambassadors of various aquatic disciplines, for devoting their time to appear in this film, the world and Olympic champion swimmer Daniel Giurta. 
the three-time Olympic champion water polo player Tomás Kásás, the European bronze medal winner diver Willy Kormos, who actually stood on the top of the chain bridge, and to all the members of the Hungarian synchronized swimming team. So let us show you the film once again. So ladies and gentlemen, and now it is time to see live entertainment at last, not just video on, on our giant lead wall. First, the ambassadors of Hungarian dance culture. This is how they are called, though their official name is Experidance. Experidance production aims at providing the highest level of artistic entertainment and promoting a revolutionized Hungarian dance culture all over the world. The strength of the ensemble is that it tempers fiery Hungarian dances with modern international schools, or just pushes them to the extreme. Thus, a completely new dance style has been created by Experidance, which is unparalleled in the world. Experidance production successfully introduced itself also on important international stages since in fa its foundation in 2000. Thus, both Hungarian foreign audiences think of them now by the ambassadors of the Hungarian culture, dance culture. In 2004, Hungary celebrated its accession to the European Union by presenting an experience show. Their mission is still to conquer spectators on every continent without forgetting their Hungarian roots. Ladies and gentlemen, on the stage, the experience production.
That is incredible. Every time I see it, it's just one word that comes up to my mind. It's really breathtaking. Unbelievable. But we have, unbelievable, yeah. right? but we have plenty more to offer with the next part of the show. Since we have a kind of coronation here, because we have all the kings and the queens of the aquatic sports here with us tonight, um, with the FINA disciplines, it is great to see very, very soon a real king on stage. Yes, a real king, because in fact, his name in Hungarian means king. Perhaps many of you are familiar with his name. Viktor Király has made the final runs of The Voice, and not in Hungary, but in the United States. Now you will see and ultimately listen to why Viktor reached such heights recently. Please welcome on the stage Viktor Király with his number one hit, Single File. Good evening to all. Let's get this party started, right? Take it back to old school, bring it, bring it up to new. Take it back to old school, bring it, bring it up to new. Thank you, Victor. Now you can hear why his name is Kirai. Kirai. I mean King in Hungarian. <laughs> there it is. And okay. after this incredible performance, now this is time to show some other incredible performances. As you may know, uh, first the FINA Aquatic World magazine conducted the election of the best athletes through organizing a voting process involving uh, all members of the FINA family. The editor-in-chief, uh, Tomás Diárfás, FINA vice president, spent long nights with counting the votes one by one, if that is correct what I'm saying. And then he said, okay, it's too much, let's change it. Okay, we are just joking. But still, it's true that the initiative came from Tomás de Arfash half decade ago. So we can thank him, a great idea. However, comparing the fantastic achievements has always been impossible. And to be fair, the results have generated numerous debates too. 
To make the decision a little bit easier, a new scoring system has been introduced based on the proposals of the respective technical committees. It was published by FINA on its official website, the social media platforms, but to re refresh our mind, let's watch uh, a short summary of the new criteria. After years of collecting votes to elect the best athletes, FINA decided to set up new criteria determining the winners in each discipline, based on the scoring systems established by the respective technical committees. Each FINA sport has its own respective classification of the most outstanding performers in both genders for 2015. Our great athletes could collect points in FINA events. Last year, the FINA World Championships offered the most points besides the medals and the generous prize money. Each gold medal winning performance was worth 180 points. Silver medals earned 140, bronze 130, and so on, down to 12th place in all six disciplines. In swimming, each world record meant 75 bonus points, both in long and short course. And finishing in the top five positions in the FINA world rankings also benefited the top swimmers. Points could also be scored by finishing in the top 12 in the overall ranks of the FINA Swimming World Cup. A similar system was applied in the other disciplines of top FINA competitions. For example, divers could also achieve points in the World Series. Overall winners got 120 points. Open water swimmers in the Marathon World Cup and in the Grand Prix. Synchro swimmers in the World Trophy. High divers in the World Cup. While in water polo, where teams were rewarded, the World League offered credits for the best eight sides. The 2015 season is over. The points have been counted. Now it's time to reveal the winners. Well, it's simple, it is isn't time. it? It's high time, yeah, <laughs> to reveal the winners. Well, it's actually not as complicated as it seems. <laughs> But still, uh, now we know how the ranks were prepared in the respective disciplines. Now this is time to announce the first winner of this night. Naturally, everyone is curious to learn who were the best among the swimmers as the world truly loved this sport. For the 2015 FINA World Championships, the cumulative TV figure viewers, uh, fi uh, figures went beyond six billion. And of course, the biggest share belonged to swimming. On the men's side, it was a neck-to-neck -neck race. In Kazan, there were swimmers winning multiple medals on all four strokes. But in the end, it came down to three world-class athletes. One best stroker, back stroker, Mitch Larkin. One breast stroker, Adam Peaty. And one butterflyer, Laszlo Che. So it was almost a dead heat, but a world record late in this year has sealed the deal. In 2015, among men, the FINA Best Performer of the Year Award goes to Mitch Larkin of Australia. One can't dream of any better season than Mitch Larkin had in this year. At the World Championships, he captured the classical backstroke double, winning in the 100-meter and 200-meter events, producing a couple of amazing swims. He also came fourth in the dash in Kazan. He returned to the scene later in the FINA Airweave Swimming World Cup and came up with a superb performance in the last cluster, where he was really close to breaking the world record over the 100 meters. Thanks to the outstanding results, he finished third in the overall point total, despite racing only at the last three stops. The 2015 FINA Male Swimmer of the Year is Mitch Larkin of Australia. Naturally, Mitch is going to have a training camp in two days' time in Perth, and in the weekend, an important meet due to his schedule, so he couldn't make a trip from down under. But his video message reached us on time. Hi guys, Mitch Larkin here in Australia. Sorry I can't be there tonight. I'm uh, preparing for my first major meet in 2016, and um, you know, I hope everyone's having a fantastic night. It's a great honor to receive this award. You know, I know some of the heroes, uh, my heroes have, a, have received this award previously, and I guess to be included in that circle, it's fantastic and, and such an honor. 
Um, 2015 was a great year for me in, in Kazan. Um, you know, winning the double in the 102 backstroke was was a dream come true. And, and one of those years, you sort of look back and, and pinch yourself. You know, did that really happen? So, like I said, I'm fortunate I can't be there tonight. I'm back here in Australia and, and preparing for 2016, and, and hopefully see you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you very much, and of course, congratulations. And now, may I ask Australia's representative, Matthew Dunn, to come to the stage. And also, may I ask FINA Honorary Secretary, Paolo Barelli, to come and hand over the prize. They are here. Yes, the price is actually behind you, so would you please, yeah, no, 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 he has to get, it's the other way around, I'm sorry, I'm just so Thank you very much. Congratulations very much. once again. Thank you also to Mitch. Congratulations to Mitchell Larkin again. He made a great achievement this year. But now it's time to have a look at the ladies. With so many outstanding swims last year, it would have been almost impossible to name the very best female athlete. You know, Katie Ledecky, Sarah Schuerstrom and Katinka Hosu, all of them with incredible world records in Kazan. It was really hard to compare all these achievements. Exactly, this is why FINA has introduced the new scoring system. Yeah, that's what we saw. Um, so it should have been easy to no, name the best easy. athlete, no? It wasn't easy, I can tell you it was still a very, very close race. Now I'm looking forward to a possible 200 meter free, for example, against um, Ledecky, Hosu and Sjöström would be a good race. But perhaps after this we can already name the best female swimmer of 2016. Oh, but that is a couple of months away still. Let's look at the one who was the best in 2015. In 2015, among women, the FINA Best Performer of the Year Award goes to Katinka Hozu of Hungary. At the FINA World Championships, she started her outstanding campaign by capturing the gold medal in the 200-meter IM, where she beat a seemingly unbeatable world record set in 2009. She added a bronze medal in the 200-meter back, finished fifth in the 200-meter free before retaining her crown in the 400-meter IM. For the Iron Lady, racing in the 50-meter pool instead of the usual short course one in the FINA Airweave World Cup didn't matter at all. She was overwhelming once again and won the overall title for the fourth straight year. The 2015 FINA Female Swimmer of the Year is Katinka Hozu of Hungary. <laughs> Unfortunately, as we all know well, Katinka is racing all corner of the words every time. So that's how she could amass so many points to win this award. This weekend she takes part in Euromeet in Luxembourg, where she is returning participant, so she enters every single woman event. So this is an important part of her Olympic preparation. That's why she couldn't come tonight for this event. But now, may I ask Hungary's representative, Hungarian Swimming Association General Secretary, Eva Santo, to come to the stage. And also, may I ask Pipat Panianvait to come and hand over the prize. Please come to the stage. The prize is over there. Thank you very much, and really from the bottom of, my, of our hearts, we are saying the best to Katinka Hosu, and we are congratulating to her. 
Okay, let's move on and now see who was the best diver of 2015, first among men. You can be quite sure that we were, um, you are going to have a Chinese winner. They have absolute dominance over this discipline, taking home 10 of the possible 13 gold medals from the Kazan World Championships. In 2015, among men, the FINA Diver of the Year Award goes to He Chao of China. As usual, China was the dominant force in this diving season, and Chao has maintained his family's dominance in the three-meter springboard event. After his elder brother, He Chong, had won the previous three world titles, it was Chao who came up with outstanding dives to clinch the gold medal at the 2015 FINA World Championships in Kazan. In addition to this feat, he was ranked seventh in the one meter event. Earlier in the year, at the last two stages of the FINA NVC Diving World Series, the He brothers drove together to clinch back-to-back -back titles in the three meter synchro events and Chow also earned medals in both individual competitions in the three-meter springboard. The 2015 FINA Male Diver of the Year is He Chow of China. In 2013, the three-meter springboard event was won by Olympic champion He Chong at the FINA World Championship, so it was two and a half years ago. Later that year, he was elected FINA's Male Diver of the Year. 2015, he did not qualify for the World Championships. However, his little brother, Chao, made the team, won in Kazan, and just as his brother, he won here too. Congratulations to He Chao, please come on stage. He Chao, please come to the stage. Where are you? Excuse me, where is Has anyone he Chow, seen please? him? He's not. Has anyone seen him? Yes. He left. He left. Did he leave? Oh. He Chow, That's please. Nice. Where could he be? <laughs> hmm? If anybody sees He Chow, please tell him to come. Because he's supposed to be here. <laughs> no? No. What can we do then? Just look around. Okay. Okay. We are going to look for He Chao. Okay. I think it's the okay. best solution. Let's do it. You see this? Well, that was amazing. That was, that amazing. was amazing. So now we could handle the prize of the best pianist diver of the year. Actually, I think. It, it, it was a lot better uh, than sending a video message. Actually, so yes, <laughs> it was. I guess it was incredible. So now let's welcome him on this stage. And may I ask Hussein Al Musalam to come up here the, and uh, present the FINA Male Diver of the Year Award to He Chao of China.
incredible. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Hello. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations. <clears throat> so, um, Chinese divers had some difficulties in Kazan, especially mm -hmm. on the women's side. Of course, they have dominated the discipline, but there were a few surprises, like North Korean Kim Kung Kang victory in the platform, or the always charming Tanya Kognotto's gold medal from the first meter. In that event, she has defeated the Chinese title holder by the smallest possible margin. Later on, she, I mean the Chinese, had won two other titles, thus becoming the most successful diver in Kazan. So even if we said Chinese divers had some difficulties, they make it six in a row now. For the sixth time in the history of FINA Awards, the best female diver is a Chinese athlete. In 2015, among women, the FINA Diver of the Year Award goes to Shu Tingmao of China. Shu had an amazing year to look back on. She started the season by winning four straight FINA World Series events, both in the three-meter springboard and in the three-meter synchro. In Kazan, she won her first individual world title in three-meter, added the gold in the three-meter synchro, and she also had a silver in the one-meter event. With two golds and a silver medal, Shu was the most successful performer in diving at the FINA World Championships. In 2015, among women, the FINA Diver of the Year Award goes to Shu Tingmao of China. A great competitor and a great champion, Shi. Shi Ting Mao, will you play the piano again? <laughs> As well, <Also>? maybe, <laughs> maybe later on. Now she's here, and uh, may I ask Shi Ting Mao to come on the stage and take over the FINA Best Female Diver of the Year Award from Dennis Miller, FINA Vice President. Congratulations, if you would like to tell some words. Oh. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> it's my honor to be here. I push eight, then I'm one of China diving team. I know how lucky I am. I push eight, my coach, my team. Mm. <laughs> Support me and help me a, uh, help me a uh, lot. They are like my family. Thanks to Fina. Thanks to everyone. Thank, Thank you, you and congratulations. It was great. Thank you very much. And in case... And, and, and if would anything. you please excuse us because uh, we had made a small mistake because, of course, everybody who is in stage here and who is uh, as, as the athlete of the year, we would like them to hold a little speech, so we would like to call back. In case he doesn't play yes. piano, at least. <laughs> Here's the microphone. Thank you very much Thank for coming. Thank you very back. much. Uh, thank you. I feel lucky and honored to get this award. As a rookie, I was lucky to win the title in my first World Championships in Kazan. I want to say thank you to FINA for all the support and encouragement. I also want to say thank you to my coach, teammates, and team leader. I am proud that I am working with great team, Chinese diving team. I hope the world can boost my captain to realize my dream in Rio Olympic Games. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you very much once again. 
and also congratulations for the great piano hit you played. But now this is time to have a little more people on the stage again. And the members of the experience group are to arrive. May I add that they are more than 15 years on stage with 2001 full house performances and 2 million spectators worldwide. The operation of Experience production is based on the fact that it does not contend with tried solutions and always seeks the new and better, even at the expense of breaking down classic gender barriers in arts. Therefore, they are fusing with various international theatres. They continue innovating with Hungarian dance culture values. Ladies and gentlemen, now the second part of the performance of the Xperi Dance music artist Simka. Please welcome them. Incredible they are actually, but um, let us still stay at the show elements. We have some good news for you because uh, Kirai Viktor, Viktor Kirai the King, has a sister who is just as talented as him. So they together now are going to rock these walls. 
So they will come together and uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on the stage Linda and Victor Kirai and their number one hit again. Exactly. So much, Thank everyone. you guys. Have a great evening. Good night. Thank you very much, Victor and Linda Kirai. And now, after the sings and the songs, we let you enjoy the tastes. The main course is next, and after that, we'll return with more show and more awards. Enjoy your meal.
Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you are enjoying uh, the beautiful meal tonight. We would like to go on with the programs, the entertainment programs, of course, too, and also with the ceremony, the award handing over ceremony. So as a second part of the show, we start with a great start. Please welcome on the most popular performance in, uh, performance in Hungary with incredible voice and magical look. Here come one of them, the only Gobi Tóth. Please welcome her on stage. Thank you so much. 
Szia, drágám! Köszönöm! That was hilarious again. I mean, incredible. She's, she's just rocks the stage. Yeah. Okay, now back to the sport. Yeah, let's go to the sport back. So far, we saw only one team on the stage, the Experience Group. But we have other teams to highlight tonight, if you know what I mean. But I do know because I also played team sport. I was a volleyball player, not a water polo player, but I do love watching for many reasons, if you understand what I mean, the water polo. Well, what would be those reasons? <laughs> yeah. I just can't imagine. However, in this part, past three years, the world has been dominated by another team uh, and not the Hungarian team, because Hungary is, I think it's the number one, or it used to be, but now the last years, the last years, another team dominated uh, the world's water polo, and they actually play just as attractive water polo as the great Hungarian team of Kashash and Benedek. As of yet, they seem to be unstoppable. They have won three World Championships, nine FINA World Leagues, three World Cups and four European Championships in the past 10 years. For the first time in FINA's history, we are picking a team, not an individual player, as the best in 2015. Also, I guess there is not too much doubt about who the winner is going to be, but watch the film. In 2015, among the men, the FINA Water Polo Team of the Year Award goes to Serbia. The Serbs were simply overwhelming this summer, just as in the previous seasons. They suffered one single loss in the last two years at the major international tournaments, while winning five titles out of five. In 2015, they collected the World League crown thus grabbing the first qualifying berth for the Rio Olympics. In Kazan, no one could match their power. In the knockout phase, they blew away all their opponents in one-sided contests and went on to capture the gold medal. The 2015 FINA Male Water Polo Team of the Year is Serbia. And in addition to all these, just eight days ago, they won another gold medal. They retained their European Championships title in Belgrade. So coming to the stage is almost a routine for them. And actually, it was a really short trip uh, for their captain, Zivko Gocic, as he plays in the, in the Hungarian club Solnok. And now on the road to this stage, I guess it's even going to be shorter. Please come on stage and may I ask Mr. Tomás Djárfás, the president of the Hungarian Swimming Association, to present the award. So again, ladies and gentlemen, in 2015, the best water polo team is Serbia. <laughs> and now, I, I'm really curious. <laughs> Congratulations, Jivko. And I'm really curious in which language are you going to speak? Because I usually hear you speak in Hungarian in the television. Uh, I'll speak in English so everybody <laughs> can understand. I don't know what to say, but you, you, you've been a friend. Do you, do you hear him? Is the to. microphone working? We'll try to solve that problem very easily. Well, yeah, you have another you. mic. Sorry. Thank you. Still not working. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> yeah. Now listen to Zivko Gotic. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been a friend. It's very big uh, pleasure, great honor to stay here with you tonight. I want to thank you all for this prestigious award, award in behalf of my teammates and myself. Also, I would like to thank to my teammates again, <laughs> our coach Dan Savic, uh, and especially to Serbian Water Polo Federation. Thank you one more time. Thank, Thank you, you very much.
Congratulations again. Well, one thing is for sure, you have the biggest fan club <laughs> here in Budapest, but let's move on. So among the men, the world champion team made it here as well. Now we shall see what is the situation among the women, where teams could earn points in Kazan and in the World League Super Final as well. So after the men, we will reveal who is going to be the team of 2015. In 2015, among the women, the FINA Water Polo Team of the Year Award goes to the United States of America. After six years, the U.S. team returned to the top at the World Championships as they played victoriously all the way in Kazan. Their route couldn't have been any tougher as they had to beat Hungary in the knockout round. The reigning champion Spanish team in the quarters, their arch rival the Aussies in the semis, and had an extremely close encounter with the Netherlands at the end, but they passed all tests. With the World League title also under their belt, the Americans can look back on a perfect season. The 2015 FINA Female Water Polo Team of the Year is the United States of America. So, a US win again. Again. But again. this time, the representative of this team, of this great team, are here. So, let's call Jessica Stephens to come to the stage and take over the well-deserved FINA Best Female Water Polo Team Award from Samram Sami, FINA Vice President. Please come to the stage. Hello. <laughs> so the best female water pool team is the United States and Semram Sami is arriving. Thank you very much for coming and please join us. And in a couple of seconds you will receive the award. Of course, would you please come a bit closer and yes, hand Thank over. Thank you very much for coming and please hand over the best female water polo team prize. <laughs> Congratulations. And I hope that the microphone works this time. Do you want me to hold it? <laughs> on, behalf, on behalf of Team USA, and our coaching staff and my sister Maggie. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you to FINA for this award. The team unfortunately couldn't be here today. They're getting ready to uh, compete in hopes of Rio this summer. So thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, congratulations again. Thank you. As we are getting closer to the Rio Olympic Games, each 10 kilometer race is op in open water swimming becomes more and more important. To earn direct qualification for the Olympics, swimmers had to finish in the top 10 at the FINA World Championships in Kazan. Well, I can tell you that this year, this year's winner missed the cut for London 2012, but he was determined to make this time. In recent years, she has become one of the greatest stars of the open water circuit. So let's see who is the female open water swimmer of the year. In 2015, among women, the FINA Open Water Swimmer of the Year Award goes to Ana Marcela Cuna of Brazil. Ana Marcela wins this distinction for the third time. No doubt she was the most successful swimmer of this year's FINA World Championships, winning medals in all three events she entered. She won the 25K, earned silver in the team event, and captured the bronze in the 10K. She entered four more races in the FINA 10K Marathon Swimming World Cup and was among the top three at each occasion, winning two races in Balaton Fured and in Chunan. 
The 2015 FINA Female Open Water Swimmer of the Year is Ana Marcela Cunha of Brazil. Congratulations to Ana Marcela, as she cannot be here with us tonight, but she has sent a video message. Please watch the film. Hi, guys. Good night. I'm uh, very, very happy to have been chosen Best Female Open Water. And thank you to Fina family for choosing me again. And sorry to not be there today, but uh, I'm training hard for the Olympic Games. Thank you again. Thank you very much for these short words and hopefully the preparation will be great as they are hosting and their country is hosting the Rio Olympic Games this year. And now may I ask Brazil's representative, Quarazi Nunez Filho, to come to the stage and also may I ask Dale Neuberger to come and hand over the prize. Thank you very much and, and congratulations once again. And now, let's go on with men's. In the men's race, the field was packed with Olympic and world champions, medal winners from the previous editions. But in the end, a young guy that no one was counting with as a real contender emerged as a winner. Even, even if they have a spectacular and memorable races throughout the year in the FINA Hosa Marathon Swimming World Cup, that one in Kazan was far by the most important race of the season. Therefore, there is no surprise. But let's see who is the best male open water swimmer in 2015. In 2015, among men, the FINA Open Water Swimmer of the Year Award goes to Jordan Wilimowski of the United States of America. The young American hit the world stage a bit unexpectedly, but produced an overwhelming performance in the king category of the discipline at the FINA World Championships in Kazan. He won the world title in the 10-kilometer event with the unusually huge margin of 12.1 seconds. He added a ninth place finish as a member of the U.S. Trio in the team event. The 2015 FINA Male Open Water Swimmer of the Year is Jordan Wilimowski of the United States of America. It was a great race there in Kazan. I was commentating that, I and mean, it was <laughs> incredible at the end, Jordan Wilimowski. But just as Ana Marcela Cunha, Jordan is also working very hard to be in peak from form uh, in Rio, so he also sent a short video message. Hi, I'm Jordan Wilmowski from USA. I wanted to thank FINA for the tremendous honor of receiving this award. 2015 was a great year for me and I'm 100% focused on my training with the hopes that 2016 brings equal success. Congratulations to all other winners this evening and thank you again to FINA. Let's go Rio. Thank you, Jordan. And now may I ask the United States representative Carol A. Zalensky to come to the stage, and also may I ask Mustafa Larfawi to come and hand over the prize. Thank you very much. The prize is there, just behind you, yes. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Congratulations once again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
The next award goes to the uh, undisputedly best athlete in FINA's youngest discipline. Even if high diving joined the FINA family only a couple of years ago, it has gained enormous popularity. These athletes are diving from 27 meters and often labeled as crazy guys. I don't know why. <laughs> so let's see who is the best of those crazy guys. In 2015, among men, the FINA High Diver of the Year Award goes to Gary Hunt of Great Britain. After years of waiting, the British star of the high diving discipline finally made it. Though he finished fourth in the FINA World Cup in Cozumel, he managed to produce his best dives at the FINA World Championships, where after finishing first in the prelims, he held steady to secure the world title in Kazan. The 2015 FINA Male High Diver of the Year is Gary Hunt of Great Britain. Really incredible. Congratulations, Gary. And I would like to ask you to please come on stage. And uh, may I also ask Mr. Paul Schmidt, uh, 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 Honorary Life President of the Hungarian Olympic Committee to please hand over the prize that you have absolutely deserved. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a real pleasure accepting this award. I accepting a trophy, usually I'm out of breath and in a pair of speedos. So it's a great pleasure to to accept this here. In all seriousness, thank you, Fina. Thank you to my coach, Alexander Rochas, and thank you to my girlfriend, Sabine, for all the help and support. Have a good night. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, and congratulations again. Thank you, Mr. Kugin. Congratulations, incredible. Wow. <laughs> it could be crazy. Have you ever been on the top of a building like that in 20 meters? Well, actually, I have been in Kazan and it was 27 meters, really? but I, I, never, I never wanted to jump off. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess. That's for sure. It's, it's really, really scary. And it I is. can tell you, it doesn't make a huge difference whether you jump off from 27 or 20 meters. There's a big body of water beneath you, and it seems so tiny. But the world's best and bravest female divers have got used to that, and they are able to perform some really impressive dives. And there's one diver who was better and braver than anyone last year. Actually, she has dominated the whole season, and thus she has been elected FINA's Female High Diver of the Year for the second consecutive time. Watch the film. In 2015, among women, the FINA Female High Diver of the Year Award goes to Rochelle Simpson of the United States. It was another perfect season for Rochelle Simpson. She came first at the FINA World Cup in Cozumel, and after a thrilling competition, she captured the world title in the final round, thanks to a truly brilliant final dive in Kazan double gold within a couple of months. Rochelle, it couldn't have been any better. The 2015 FINA Female High Diver of the Year is Rochelle Simpson of the United States. We are really sorry, but Rochelle Simpson is also preparing for the uh, next race and the next competition, so she couldn't come to Budapest as well, but she also sent a video message. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for honoring us tonight. 
I only wish I could tell you in person. Unfortunately, I'm busy training for the first competition of the year, so I hope that you will let me off the hook just a little bit. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much. It is such an honor to be before you winning this award. Sometimes it doesn't even feel real. <laughs> um, I would like to thank a few people. Firstly, I want to thank my husband so much. He's been beside me every step of the way through my career, supporting me, encouraging me, sacrificing for me time. I couldn't ask for a better partner and I'm so, so grateful to you. Secondly, I'd like to thank my coach, Jason Carlton. You believe in me, you push me, and I trust you, which is so, so important when you're 20 meters up in the air. <laughs> so when you tell me I can do something, I believe you, and that helps so much, so thanks. And lastly, but not least, I wanna thank Fina. You've welcomed high diving into the family, made it a discipline, and because of that, you've put us on the world stage. And I can't thank you enough, I really, really am looking forward to the future. I cannot wait to see what it holds. So once again, thank you so much. Thank you for your time and have a great night. Thank you, Rochelle. And now may I ask the United States Representative Steve McFarland to come to the stage. And also may I ask Wilfried Lemke to come and hand over the prize. Congratulations. Well, this <laughs> high diving is it's just incredible. amazing. And I'm sure that Gary and Russell, for example, are going to be one of the greatest stars of the Budapest World Championships in 2017. And uh, I'm very sure that most of you have already heard it, but they will surely hear it in 2017, the official song for the 2017 World Championships. It has a title, the title is called Swim As Long As You Live. And it is performed by one of the greatest stars of the Hungarian pop music, Ferenc Demian. So it is a song we are really proud of and hopefully you will also enjoy it and it will just, you know, goes into your ear and you will never forget what you have heard. So, please welcome Ferenc Damien and Stream As Long As You Live. The official song. Ez egy lenget, mi átkutatunk, hisz ki jussz tudni. 
Egyszer majd célhoz ész, valahol úgy is partot találsz. Várad a szín, amit most is remész, vár a Now let's get back to the award ceremony. And let's get back from 2017 to 2015 again. As you can remember, we have had full house at Kazan Arena in every single synchro session. Of course, this discipline had a long tradition in Russia. And some athletes and the home athletes dominated the competition in the past years, just like they did in Kazan, keeping home eight out of nine gold medals on offer. Let us see now who was the very best of the best, who is FINA's female synchronized swimmer of the year. In 2015, the FINA female synchronized swimmer of the year award goes to Svetlana Romashina of Russia. As usual, Svetlana had a perfect season. She swam in four events at the FINA World Championships and earned as many gold medals. To the joy of the home crowds in Kazan, she was crowned world champion in the solo technical event and got both world titles in the duet with her returning partner, Natalia Ishenko. She was also a protagonist on the winning Russian team in the free combination. Her four world titles put us in a perfect position to say, the 2015 Pina Female Synchronized Swimmer of the Year is Svetlana Romashina of Russia. Congratulations, Congratulations to Svetlana Romashina. Please come to the stage. And may I also ask Colonel Mark Ulescu, FINA Executive Director, to hand over the award for the FINA Female Synchronized Swimmer of the Year to Svetlana Romashina. Svetlana. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. It's a great honor for me to stay on this stage. And of course, I want to thank FINA for this award. And uh, of, of course, I want to thank my coach, Tatiana Danchenko. She's working with me from uh, since I was 10 years old, when, as I, when I was a little child. And uh, it's a <laughs> and uh, it's a great day 
when uh, I am a best synchronized swimmer and my coach is uh, sitting with me in this hall. And uh, thank you very much for all this award. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, Svetlana. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand why she can compete well, yes, that good. Of course, she deserves, she deserves any applause. Actually, now we have just witnessed gender equality. Congratulations again. Gender equality is as important as anything for FINA. That's why 2015 was a special year for us, a historic one. Indeed, uh, uh, 2015 was an incredible year in synchronized swimming. In Doha, December 2014, FINA made a historic step by allowing male synchronized swimmers to compete at world stage. And this had had a huge impact on the sport. For decades, it has been unthinkable to see male synchronized swimmers performing in the water. But now, it is real easy. In a way, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, there have been some uh, outstanding male athletes who grew up watching their sisters going for the synchronized swimming trainings. However, they have never had the opportunity to compete. They could only perform in front of a theatrical audience. But 2000 was the year of the change. As we already said, this was a historic year, not only because male synchronized swimmers were given green light at the FINA World Championships, but also, this is the first time in the history of FINA that two athletes are going to share the Best Athlete Award. Let's see who they are. In 2015, among men, the FINA Synchronized Swimmer of the Year Award goes to Bill May of the United States and Alexander Maltsev of Russia. For the first time ever at FINA events, male competitors were welcome in synchronized swimming, and the performances in the mixed duet events made headlines all over the world. Based on this tremendous success, FINA is happy to recognize the best male synchro swimmer of the year. However, the top prize is now shared between two brilliant athletes as they had identical results at the FINA World Championships. Bill May, performing with Christina Jones, won the gold medal in the technical routine and earned the silver with Christina Lum in the free, swimming with Darina Velatova. Alexander Maltsev got the silver in the technical competition and was crowned world champion in the free routine. Thus, the two most outstanding male performers in Kazan have the same amount of points in the competition for the FINA Best Athlete Award. The 2015 FINA Male Synchronized Swimmers of the Year are Bill May of the United States of America and Alexander Maltsev of Russia. And I'm so happy to announce that though we are, we are missing a, few, a couple of winners here tonight, Bill and Alexander, they are both here. I would like to welcome them on stage and I would like to also ask the mayor of Fukuoka, Mr. Takishima Soichiro, to please come on stage and present the award to them. Congratulations to Bill and Alexander. Alex, please give your speech. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, I want to say uh, thank you very much for this award. Uh, thank you, Fina. Thank you uh, very much to my coach, uh, Gana Maximova and Maria Maximova uh, for their patience and uh, work. Thank you. 
Good evening. Uh, it's such a pleasure to be here tonight, and thank you to Fina, and um, it's such an opportunity for after so long for the Mixed Duet to finally become an event at the World Championships. It's, it's a dream that I think probably both of us will never wake up from. So thank you to my coach, Chris Carver, Carver my family, USA Synchro, and above all, the Santa Clara Aquamaids, who really supported us from the beginning with Chris to help us achieve this goal. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank Hopefully you. all the photos are done. So thank you very, very much and let's move on. Alexander Maltsev and Bill May again <laughs> for the first time. Well, we have to wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> and now time for special prizes. At the Fino World Championships in Kazan, we witnessed some brilliant performances, especially in swimming, where we had 12 world records and an astonishing 20 world championship records during the eight days of the competition. We cannot give a prize for each of these world-class swimmers tonight. It is even hard to rank them, but Fina has managed to pick the most incredible swim of all, and now we are introducing a new distinction, the mast the Best Male Performer Award. Uh, it rewards the best single time result clocked by a swimmer. And this year, it should be obviously a world record. Let's see whose record-breaking performances were the most outstanding, first among men. The special prize for the highest scoring male swimmer of the 2015 FINA World Championships goes to Adam Peaty of Great Britain. Adam Peaty managed to improve two long course world records this year. He is the only one to achieve this feat. In April, Adam bettered the global mark in the 100 meters breaststroke in London, going under 58 seconds for the first time in history. In Kazan at the FINA World Championships, Adam was a cut above the rest in both the 50 meter and 100 meter breaststroke. In the 50 meter semifinal, he cracked the world record, which earned him the highest scoring individual result of the championships, worth an amazing 1,028 points. He topped the world rankings over his favorite distances and was also part of medal winning relay swims. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the world record beater from Great Britain, Adam Peaty. Adam already started his rigorous training to Rio and cannot travel to Budapest, but he also sent a message to us. Hi all, it's a real honor to have won Best Swimming Male Performance of the Year. I'd like to thank you, everyone who voted and nominated me for this award, and there's plenty of other people out there who deserve this as well, so a big thank you, and unfortunately I can't be there as I'm training on the Gold Coast, ready for my preparations for the summer. Thank you. Thank you. Adam. Congratulations, and we are very sorry that he cannot be with us tonight. But I'm sure, and he has to promise, that he will be here 2017 World Championships in Budapest. But of I course, hope he will. Of course, we will hand over the award to him. And now, may I ask Great Britain's representative, David Sparks, to come to the stage. And may I also ask Arnaldo Rivera Fuscia to come and hand over the prize. Congratulations once again. Thank you very much. And of course, we have uh, the same award for the best women or the best woman performance. No doubt that this prize can only go to a very, very brilliant swimmer. And it cannot go to anyone else because this swimmer is considered to be unbeatable. If someone jumps into the pool and she's there, she can almost be sure that she won't win. Okay. I mean, she's the only one. She's unbeatable in a couple of different disciplines. 
Okay, you might have already found out who we are talking about, but let's watch the video. The special prize for the highest scoring female swimmer of the 2015 FINA World Championships goes to Katie Ledecky of the United States. In Kazan, breaking world records in succession seemed a daily routine for Katie Ledecky. At the FINA World Championships, she brought down the record both in the heats and in the final in 1500 meters, and also beat her own mark in the 800 meters scoring the highest mark in the women's meet with 1,022 points. She added the 400 meter crown, and as an icing on the cake, she was the fastest in the 200 meters. Four individual world titles, three world records, and an additional gold in the four by 200 meter relay. No doubt that she enjoyed an outstanding season in 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, clap your hands for the world record beater from the United States of America, Katie Ledecky. Katie is already busy with preparing for this season, but not only with preparing, but also with competing. In fact, she has already collected her first 75 points in the hunt for the 2016 awards after setting a new world record in 800 meter free in Austin two weeks ago. Though she cannot be here with us, she also devoted some time, some of her precious time, to send you a video message. Hi, I'm Katie Ledecky from USA Swimming. I'd like to thank FINA for this tremendous honor. Uh, 2015 was a great year for me, and I really have to thank all of my coaches, my teammates, and all the support that I have from my family. Uh, I'm focused on my goals for 2016 and working hard. I wish I could be there, but uh, congratulations to all of the other awardees tonight, and thank you again for this award. Thank you very much, Katie. Congratulations. And congratulations, naturally. And now, may I ask the United States Representative, Steve McFarland, to come to the stage, and may I also ask Istvan Tarlos, Mayor of Budapest, to hand over the prize. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, today's world, we cannot put enough emphasis on the importance of the media. No great event, no great athlete can earn a global recognition without the press, without the broadcasters, without the news agencies, without many of us, if I can say that. <laughs> FINA decided to recognize one media representative in each year for his or her outstanding contribution to the success of the aquatics. So this year FINA awards a gentleman who reports from aquatic event for events for more than 20 years. He attends every great international meet and he reports for a newspaper we might consider one of the world's most well-known and most respected sporting daily. Ladies and gentlemen, let me call to the stage our great colleague and friend, Stefano Arcobelli, from the Italian newspaper giant La Gazzetta dello Sport. And the FINA Media Award is represented by Tomasz Djerfas, the president of the Hungarian Swimming Association. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, good night. Uh, it's a big, big, really big pleasure to receive this honor to represent the media award <laughs> important to promote the aquatic sport. And so this award is for all the media of the world in an Olympic season important rule to promote the wonderful worldwide. This very, very thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Congratulations again. Thank you. The FINA Aquatics World magazine launches the FINA photo competition year by year, just as they did in 2015. Photographers were asked to enter their pictures taken in Kazan at the World Championships. You could see the best ones uh, presented in the hotel during the weekend, and our media committee members present casted their votes to select the best ones. And we are ready to announce the winner, the top picture of Kazan. Let's see the winning photo on this lead wall. This is it, and the details. It was taken by a really, really talented photographer. And congratulations. The award offered by FINA will be delivered uh, him a little bit later, delivered him soon. But we can see the picture. I think it, it really, deserves really deserves deserve. uh, Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now, last but not least, uh, let's see the last prize. We all know that it's sport. No individual or team achievements exist without a great, great coach behind them. So now, let's have a FINA Best Coaches of the Year to come to the stage. The masters behind the best athlete's success. Okay, so we have Shane Tussup, Michael Ball, Melanie Marshall, Bruce Gemmel. Dave Kelsheimer, Fernando Possenti, Niju Di, Zhao Wenjin. Alex Rojas, Jason Carton, Chris Carver, uh, Gana Maximova, Maximova. Tatiana Danchenko, Dejan Savic, and Adam Krikorian. And now may I ask the coaches present to come to the stage, and may I also invite Pinam Pangwaid, Paolo Barelli, and Hussein Al Massalam to join us and present the award for these wonderful coaches. Now that everybody is on stage, would you please take the prizes, take the... Gentlemen, and please hand, hand over, over the to prices, these yeah. wonderful coaches. The prizes are there behind you, <laughs> the medals. Unfortunately, many of the coaches are really working hard, so they cannot be here in Budapest with us. But those who are here, we are very thankful for coming. And congratulations for these wonderful performances. And the third award will be handed over soon to you. Thank you very much. Thank and you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and we have uh, one more award. It is actually made from gold. And Fina wishes to present it to a gentleman who really did a tremendous job to host this Fina Aquatics World Gala and to put Hungary on the map as host of the great Fina events. We are talking about Tomás Gyarfás, FINA Vice President and President of the Hungarian Swimming Association since 1993. He has been the Editor-in-Chief of uh, the FINA Aquatic Works magazine, the publication acquiring global attention in the past six years, ensure FINA further international recognition, as well as valuable information source for the world of aquatics. Besides all these, Mr. Gyarfás has always acted to represent the interests of FINA in the best possible way. 
On major occasions, it was witnessed in 2014 for the first time when Hungary stepped up and organized the FINA World Junior Open Water Championships in 40 days. And then soon something uh, bigger came after Guadalajara withdrew from hosting the 2017 FINA World Championships. Thanks to Tomás's contribution, the Hungarian government and the Hungarian Swimming Association offered offer the utmost flexibility and stepped it into the, by, uh, the addition of hosting 2017 World Championships. To award this unique approach and commitment, FINA awarded Tomás Gyárfás the FINA gold pin. May I ask Tomás Gyárfás and as well as FINA President Dr. Julio Marione to come to the stage and conduct the award ceremony. Congratulations. Would you like to say a few words? Dear friends, for me it's an honor and a pleasure to present on behalf of all the, of the family of FINA, the gold pin, our vice president, President of the Hungarian Swimming Federation, member of the Olympic Committee of Hungarian, and a, an excellent person and crystal person. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you and congratulations. <laughs> Music is coming. Yes, it is. <laughs> But if it, it would be nice if you said a couple of sentences about it. <laughs> sure. It's worth it to listen to. There's an orchestra we proudly present to you, and it lives in the heart of all Hungarians. It is Budapest Gypsy Symphonic Orchestra. They were established 30 years ago, but has conquered the world since then, from Africa to Asia, giving more than 1,000 of concerts. The 100 Gypsy Violins are spreading our culture, the Hungarian culture, throughout their music, giving Liszt, Bartók, Kodály, Brahms, Tchaikovsky, Strauss to everybody in the world, and also playing traditional Hungarian music. They are also in the Guinness Record of Books, and their name is equal to everything that is Hungarian. They are so-called Hungaricums something that cannot be mentioned without mentioning Hungary. That is the top quality, not only in music, but also considering Hungary. Please welcome the Budapest Gypsy Symphonic Orchestra. The president and manager is Peke Farkas Nandor, and the leading primary is Lendvai Csocsi József. And tonight, like as you told, they are playing many, many different music, but. Tonight, they are going to play some Brahms. It's the Hungarian dance number one. Please welcome them.
Nagyon szépen köszönjük. Nem is értem, hogy miért a magyarul szólalok meg. I, would, I want you to say English. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The Budapest Gypsy Symphonic Orchestra. It has uh, been a great evening. It has been uh, great to have you here. Now we would like to all of you to uh, please come on stage and join us for a common photo. So everybody who has been received an award, everybody who has received an award or has been given an award, please come up to the stage so that we will have a common photo taken of you, a memory you will always forget and you can take it home with you. Yes. We'll yes, you. please. Everybody, so please come, please come up on stage. Please all the prize winners who received an award tonight, come up and join for us to the stage. Don't be afraid of me. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully everybody is still here. Alexander, Bill, yes, also bring your, bring your awards, please, and let's join for a yeah. common photo. So ladies and gentlemen, the best athletes and the best coaches of 2015, in the world aquatic sports are here in the stage. So now we have nothing else to do, but hopefully everybody will come up on stage and uh, we would like to wish you a very nice evening, a very nice gala and hope to see you. I hope to see the FINA members uh, and the FINA family very soon. So enjoy the rest of the evening. And enjoy the desert, the streets, naturally. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much.